as you can imagine, there's, there is so much to think about when you're going through cancer treatment, when you've got a new diagnosis of cancer. And the centres here, mission and vision is about allowing people to just simply focus on themselves and getting better and getting through treatment and spending time with their friends and family. So we make sure that we take away the financial burden so that no one has any copay. And we really try and work hard to make sure we take away any anxiety in terms of the quality. You know, you can't take away all anxiety because there is a natural anxiety going through these kind of treatments. But being able to take away people's fears that they should be exploring alternative options or that this might be second best. You know, people uh, are able to trust us now because we've been here for, for five years and we're able to demonstrate what we've managed to achieve. You've come so far in five years. What will the next five years look like? The field of radiation oncology uh, is a very dynamic field. Um, so there are ever-evolving little tweaks that come along. Yeah, I'd say we change how we do things probably on a monthly basis. Most of the time, small enough that no one really needs to notice. But again, that's some of the value of our close collaborative relationship with the Brigham. Um, that every time they bring in a new technique or bring in a new guidance, then we're able to be right on the fore of that. Uh, in terms of more noticeable things, radiation techniques, so as, as you're aware, over the last year, we've now started doing a very highly precise radiation called SABER, where we're able to cure small cancers, um, but just in a very short period of time, just over a week, rather than the old fashioned kind of five or six weeks. And we are just about to start doing it for certain types of cancer within the brain. And then we'll be doing it for types of cancer within the bone. You're saving lives because, you know, you are a charity. Um, you are able to fund people that, as you already said, would not be able to have perhaps received treatment. Um, they would have not been able to go, to, go overseas. I still, um, um, one of the most humbling moments I have as a physician is that moment where a patient looks slightly panicked and frightened and you can't get them to explain what their fear is and their fear is money and therefore you're able to say actually that's one fear we can say you can really put away yeah um the cancer center in the last five years since opening has subsidized the cost of care to the account of nearly eight million dollars